Hey guys, Jordan Cressis here, co-owner of the WLMA, the most result-based mastermind for wedding photographers and filmmakers worldwide. And today I have a really exciting video for you because I'm gonna show you the best way to generate leads for your wedding photography or filmmaking business. And that is through Facebook and Instagram ads. And the reason why that is is because Facebook and Instagram ads is the only paid traffic platform that allows you to directly target newly engaged couples, literally directly, unlike organic where you're going to be getting a lot of attention from people who are not even engaged or even other paid traffic platforms where you have to figure out the right keywords, where you think newly engaged couples are going to be hanging out. Facebook and Instagram ads are the only paid traffic platform where we can actually choose newly engaged couples. And so you can see that this is actually real and this actually works. Check this out. So I'm going to be going to our WLMA community. This is our community of students. We have about 850 students right now to this day. Um, and this is pretty much the community where students are in our program. They're sharing the results. We're giving value. So I'm going to click over here on the search and I'm going to type in hashtag ring the bell and check this out. Um, here is one of our students that we've been working with for a while, Tom Michael from Tom Russo Photography. He just hit seven figures with his studio. And a huge part of this in the beginning of learning to grow his business was through Facebook and Instagram ads. Here's another student, Manny and Ashley. We recently just got them to six figures. They've been hitting five figure months pretty consistently. And a big part of their business was also Facebook and Instagram ads as well. So I hope this excites you to know how to run these ads. I'm going to show you the best targeting you can do when running Facebook and Instagram ads right now. So the first thing I want you to do, you need to make an account on business.facebook.com. So go over here and type in business.facebook.com. And what you're going to do is you're going to make an ad account with Facebook or Meta, what they call it now. This is not a tutorial on how to set that up. Um, follow the instructions that Facebook gives as far as setting up your first account. But once you have that all set up, you should be to get to an ads manager page that looks like this. And in your ads manager, you're going to see three different folders. You have your campaign folder. This is where we're making new campaigns for our ads. Under the campaigns, you have the ad set level. This is where we choose the targeting, the demographics. And then below the ad sets is the ad creative. And this is where we can actually choose what our ad looks like, what we say on the ad, all the copy, our offers, all that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and start making this together and I'll show you how to target for the wedding photography and filmmaking industry. And yes, this targeting will work for pretty much any niche in the wedding industry, whether if you're a planner, a venue, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on campaigns. And I'm going to go over here where it says create. And there are different things you can do. A more advanced thing you can do is if you click on leads. And you can actually create what's called a custom conversion. So everyone who opts in on your landing page and ends up on your thank you page, you can optimize your ads to people who will most likely opt in on your landing page. That's a little bit more advanced. I'm not going to dive into that today. Today, we're just going to go over here on traffic and we're going to be running it for either link clicks or landing page views. So go over on traffic. This is going to be an auction and we're going to click on continue. So now this is the campaign level below here is the ad set level. And then below here is the ad creative level. So we have three different layers of our ad. So let's go ahead and start creating our first ad. And this is what we're going to do. So for the campaign name, since this is just a demo, um, let's say it's for cold traffic. I'm going to call this cold traffic demo auto we don't need to select any categories here this is for auction um, it is set for traffic you can do a to b test which is really cool i'm not going to do that right now and i personally like to run it as advantage campaign budget and pretty much what this is is it means the advantage campaign budget will distribute your budget across 
ad sets to get more results depending on your delivery optimization choices and bid strategy and you can control spending on each ad set so let's say if you have like three different ad sets three different types of targeting under a campaign whichever one is doing the best facebook will see that and send most of the budget to that now most of our students were able to generate you know 20 to 80 leads with just a hundred to maybe three hundred dollars in ad spend and we're normally turning those leads into ten thousand twenty thousand and even thirty thousand dollar months we've had some students hit as high as fifty thousand dollar months so let's say you have a budget of just a hundred to two hundred dollars a month let's say you want to make this a hundred dollars a month run a campaign for 10 days we'll set this campaign budget for ten dollars a day campaign bid strategy there's different ways you can run this. We're gonna have this for highest volume. Then click here on show more options. You can choose the ad scheduling and we're gonna have this as run ads all the time. So everything looks good here as far as the campaign level. We're gonna move over to the ad set level and this is where we're gonna be choosing the targeting and this is where you'll find the best targeting for the wedding industry. So I'm gonna go over here and click on next. For ad set name, let's say if you are testing different types of audiences i may name this like audience v1 version one and we're gonna have this as website and we're gonna scroll down over here now as far as optimization and delivery there's two things that i recommend doing there's link clicks where it's going to optimize people who are most likely going to click on your ad which will bring them maybe to your website or your landing page or we can optimize it for landing page views now you need a facebook pixel to be able to optimize this for landing page views setting up the facebook pixel is going to be a demo for another time but let's say you have that facebook pixel for tracking on your website or landing page views i recommend landing page views because this is going to show to people most likely to read your landing page, who are most likely going to wait until everything is loaded up, read what you have on your landing page, so they opt in. If you don't have the pixel on your website, which I do recommend, you can run it for link clicks. But let's say we have the Facebook pixel on there, we're gonna run this for landing page views. If you've created what's called a custom conversion, which is a little bit more advanced, and you have that pixel on your thank you page after they opt in and you've set up a custom conversion for that you would actually run that for that specific custom conversion and if you click on show more results we're just going to keep this on impressions we're not going to put anything for cost per result goal we're just going to let facebook try to get the most as possible um, here on budget and schedule have the start date on when you're planning to run ads and if you want to set an end date, you can do that. I usually don't set an end date because I'm checking my ads every single morning, checking the results. So I manually stop the ads when I want to or when I see fits. So I'm going to keep that unchecked as far as end. And that's a little tip too. You never just want to launch an ad and never look at it again. You should be looking at your ads performances every single morning. So that way you're not running ads blindly. I even use like a spreadsheet that gauges all the data. For show more results, you can check over here where it says ad spend limits and you can set that if you want. I'm not gonna set that for this. And now is the important part right over here, the audience. This is where we're gonna be choosing the best targeting for wedding photographers and filmmakers. And this can be used for wedding planners, DJs, venues, no matter what niche you are in the wedding industry, this targeting will work for you. And we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars when it comes to ad spend in the wedding industry. So this has been tested and this is what we recommend doing. So over here, you're going to go over to locations. I'm going to click X where it says United States and you're going to choose the city that you are in. So let's say, you know, you live in Nashville or you live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'll go over here and put Chattanooga, Tennessee, make that a 50 mile radius, but you just don't want to pick a 50 mile radius of your city. You have ideal clients all around you. 
you're really limiting your you're really limiting yourself if you're only picking a 50 mile radius of your city because for example my wife and i we got we live in tennessee we got married in florida so i always recommend if you're trying to just book local clients to book around a let's say four three to four hour drive radius around you because there may be people, if you live in, say, Chattanooga or Nashville, there may be people in, say, Atlanta who are willing to drive to you for their engagement session and pay you a premium, send you out four hours for their wedding in Atlanta. Or maybe they're in Atlanta and they're getting married in Nashville. So you don't want to limit where your ideal clients are at. So instead of just Chattanooga, Tennessee, 50 miles, um, I'll just add in here Knoxville, Tennessee, where are you, Knoxville, Tennessee? Here, Knoxville, Tennessee, 50 miles. That's like the airport, but it'll still hit it. Um, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, 50 miles. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee, 50 miles. And I'm going to try to fill in some of these gaps in these circles as well. So here's Huntsville, Alabama. 50 miles. I could fill in more. I'm not going to do that right now. You guys get the point. So I'd recommend filling out this, this whole entire area right here. Um, choose 50 mile radius within a three to four, two to four hour drive radius around you. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to pick age. And you really want to keep the age broad. Um, let Facebook do most of the work as far as the algorithm. So let's say I'm going to keep this around age 21 to 45. You can maybe even make that broader depending on what your ideal client is. For gender, we're going to choose all and demographics. This is what I want you guys to do. And this is where you'll see that Facebook and Instagram ads is literally a cheat code for the wedding industry. If you know what you're doing, if you know the right types of ads and offers to use, if you have a really great funnel that you want to build. And so this is what I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type in engaged and engaged relationship status. We can literally choose people with a relationship status, which you can't do on any other paid traffic platform. We're going to choose newly engaged three months, newly engaged, six months, and that is it. You can choose newly engaged a year if you want. I personally don't like to do that. You can test other things, but this is the targeting that you want to do. Two to four hour drive radius around you, a broad range where your ideal client is in there, gender, all, and newly engaged three months, newly engaged six months, and engaged. Facebook used to have a feature where we could exclude married. They got rid of that. Let's see if they brought it back. Uh, you cannot exclude married anymore. Um, you can exclude people with the interest in marriage, but that does not mean that they're married. If they have the interest of being married, that does not mean that they are married people. So I would not recommend... Um, selecting that there. And as you can see with this audience, we have an estimated audience side of 123,000 to pretty much 150,000 prospects of newly engaged couples, which is absolutely insane. We can potentially get our ads in front of 100,000 to 200,000 newly engaged couples. If I decided to fill in more of these gaps, in between these circles right over here, it would probably get to 200,000 to 250,000. So when you see that number of the estimated audience size, you realize there's no scarcity of engaged couples out there. There's a scarcity of photographers and filmmakers and wedding professionals who know how to get in front of them. So let's continue. We're going to scroll down, see if there's anything else we need to add here. If you want, you can click save this audience. You can name the audience what you want. So if you click save the audience, you could go over here and type in, you know, the best wedding audience or whatever you want to name it. This is my demo account, so I'm not going to do that. Now, as far as placements, if you do manual, there's a lot of different placements you can do as far as feeds, stories, uh, searches, in article, in stream. And I recommend testing those different things. Facebook does a pretty good job of its algorithm figuring out what works best. So I'm going to click Advantage Plus Placements, uh, which is also recommended. Now I'm going to go over here and click on Next. 
And here we're going to create the ad creative. So on this section here, you can name this whatever you want. If you're testing more than one ad creative, you can click over here and type in like version one or something like that. Uh, make sure you've selected your Facebook page, uh, select your Instagram account. We're going to scroll down here. And what we mostly do is we pick single image or a video. And if you scroll down, here is where you can add your image or a video. This is my demo account, so I don't really have much on here. But what we recommend as far as images is usually one, an absolutely gorgeous engagement or wedding photo, or maybe a wedding film if you're a filmmaker. Or what we've also seen work out really well, a really nice picture of you, you know, with your cameras, maybe hanging out with the couple. So I'm gonna select that picture with me and Crystal with a couple we worked with in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm gonna keep standard enhancements on and that's when you allow Facebook's algorithm to make maybe changes in the crop or something on what they see best. If you don't want that, you can turn that off. I'm gonna click done. And on these areas here is we're gonna put your primary text. Your primary text will show up here. Your headline will show up here. And you can also put a description right over here. So primary text up over here, headline and description. And you can also choose your call to action button for whatever your offer is. Now, as far as offers and copywriting, this is one of the most important things because you can have the right targeting. But if you don't have an offer and you don't have very good copywriting and you have a crappy headline, your ad is not going to work. So this video is not on copy. It is not on headlines and offers. Another time I'll make a video on that. But what I usually recommend when it comes to cold traffic, if you're targeting cold traffic with people who have never heard of your brand before, I do not recommend an offer where you have a call to action to work with you immediately because they don't trust your brand. You usually want a cold offer or maybe you're inviting them to a Facebook group. Maybe you're running a contest. Maybe you have a free guide or it's a call to action to check out a blog on a certain topic and they opt in. They give you permission to continue to market to them and you can continue to market it to them. So they build trust in your brand. They become raving fans of your brand, usually for warm and hot leads like they already know about your brand that's when i recommend running retargeting ads i have a video on retargeting ads you can look that up on our channel where that is when we're actually having a call to action to work with us directly dates are filling up send us an inquiry before dates fill up etc and that's because they have trust in your brand and it is only then that those types of ads will work out so I'm not going to go too deep into copy and headlines right now. I recommend getting the book Breakthrough Advertising or Copywriting Secrets. Those are really great copywriting books to learn how to make really powerful ads. And if you scroll down over here, you can type in the URL of your landing page or your website, whatever your offer is. If you go on instant experience, you can actually create your own landing pages on Facebook, which is also a really powerful thing to do as well. And if you're running it by landing page views and you have not set up a pixel before, if you click on website events, um, it can actually lead you through how to set up that pixel, how to set up custom conversions, all that type of stuff over here. Some other really cool things you can do. Let's say I click X over here and let's say I want to test another audience. Let's say I have a hypothesis of another audience that can perform really well that isn't through the audience that I showed you. You can go over here and click duplicate. You can duplicate it once twice, three times. Let's say we just wanted to duplicate it once and test another audience. You click on duplicate and you can go over here on custom audiences. You can change these locations, ages, genders, detailed targeting around, and you can do a split test of those different audiences. And since we did this on the campaign side right over here, we ran this as advantage campaign budget. So Facebook would send most of the budget to whichever ad set was performing best. And you can do the same exact thing with the ad creative as well. You know, let's say we're on version one of the ad set um, and we wanted to split test different photos. You can click over here on duplicate. You can duplicate it again over here. And if we wanted, we could split test different photos and see what did best. So I'll remove this over here. 
click on add image. And let's say I wanted to add this image of me holding a camera. And now I can split test which photo is going to perform best. And this is pretty much how we turn the leads we generate from the ads into high end weddings, luxury weddings who are booking us for say five, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000. It does start off through paid traffic right over here, our Facebook and Instagram ads. We also use what's called the lead generation trio, um, SEO and vendor referral networking. So we have these leads coming through these three things. So let's say it's coming from your ads, you're getting 20 to 50 to 100 leads into your funnel a month. From those ads, we do build what's called a nurturing ecosystem or a nurturing funnel where they opt in in our offer. They are taken through this ecosystem where they may be in our automated email series. We may be able to lead them to a Facebook group that leads them to our website and maybe they see our blogs. They're able to build trust in our brand, become raving fans, see us, at, see us as the high value leader in the industry. So by the time they've gone through this ecosystem, we get much more powerful increase. And from those increase, we're able to book those weddings into five, seven to $10,000 weddings. So that is it. That is the best targeting you can do for the wedding photography and filmmaking industry. Or if you're in other niches like venues or you're a planner, you can do this exact same targeting. As long as you have a really great ad, a really great offer that people are actually going to opt in on. One of our members in the WLMA, who's actually one of our coaches now, spends $100 to $350 on ad spend. His name's Aiden Meadows and generates $10 to $20,000 a month from the Facebook and Instagram ads. So remember this, two to four hour drive radius around you, kind of a broad age range where your ideal client is, all genders, relationship status engaged, newly, newly engaged three months, newly engaged six months. So I have something really special for you. If you are watching this video, you found it really helpful. You want to scale your business to six figure to multiple six figure years like us and our students that you've seen in this video or in other videos as well. In the description of this YouTube video, I have two links. One where you can see a free masterclass and we'll show you how we actually build this entire system, how we build this nurturing funnel so we can scale to the multiple six figures. If you click on it and you opt in, it'll take you to a page like this. And on the bottom, you can scroll down and actually schedule a personalized complimentary business audit for your wedding business, photographers and filmmakers only. And there's another link directly to our complimentary business audits that you can schedule. You'll meet with me or someone from our team We'll meet via Zoom and we'll do a full business audit for you. We'll diagnose your business. We'll audit your website and portfolio. See how much you can potentially charge. Build the fastest roadmap to your goals and see if and how we can help. This way we can take more wedding photographers and filmmakers to the six figure to multiple six figure level. And this is completely complimentary. So if that's something you're interested in doing, check out the description of this YouTube video, sign up for the masterclass, sign up for a complimentary business audit. I hope you found this video incredibly helpful. Can't wait to make you guys another one. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the other side.